Hello friends, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to find minimum in the given dimension in a k-dimensional tree. A KD tree, also called as a k-dimensional tree, is a binary search tree where data in each node is a k-dimensional point in space. In short, it is a space partitioning data structure for organizing points in a k-dimensional space. A non-leaf node in KD tree divides the space into two parts called as half spaces. Points to the left of this space are represented by the left subtree of that node and points to the right of the space are represented by the right subtree. Now let us look at what do we mean by the minimum of a k-dimensional tree. Suppose we have this k-dimensional tree. Here the value of k is 2. So for x-axis the minimum value is 5. Therefore when the value of dimension is x, the minimum node will be 525. And for the y-axis, the minimum value is 12. Therefore, for the y dimension, the minimum node will be 1012. Now let us look at the algorithm. To find minimum, we traverse nodes starting from the root. The root of this tree is 3040. If dimension of the current level is same as given dimension, then required minimum lies on left side if there is a left child. Suppose the dimension we need to search is x and we are starting at the root node. So the, the current dimension is x and the required dimension is also x. While constructing a KD tree, the smaller elements are inserted to the left side of the tree. Therefore, the as both the dimensions are same, now we will look in the left node of the tree. When dimension of current level is different, minimum may either be in the left subtree or the right subtree or current node may also be minimum. Now at this node, the value of dimension is y and the required dimension is x. Therefore, the dimensions are different. So the required minimum dimension can either be in this node or its left node or its right node if it exists. So we have to find out the minimum of all these three nodes. We will use recursion to carry out this procedure. Now let us have a look at the code. In the function, we have passed the root node, integer d, which signifies the dimension in which we have to find the minimum and the current depth. The base case is when root is equals to null, that is when the tree doesn't exist, then the minimum would not be defined and we can return integer max. The current dimension of the node in the tree can be found out using the formula depth modulus k. Now we have two cases. Either the current dimension is equal to the depth or it is not. When the current dimension is equal to the depth, we again have two cases. When the current dimension is equal to the depth, we only have to search the left subtree. Suppose we are starting at 3040, the required dimension is x and the current dimension is also x. So therefore we will search only in this left subtree. If root arrow left is equals to null, that is when the node doesn't have any left subtree, then we can conclude that the current node is the minimum node and return it. But in case there is a left subtree in the node, we have to find the minimum of that subtree by recursively calling the function and passing the left node the dimension and increase the depth by 1. We also have to compare the value with the current node and return minimum of these both values. But in case the current dimension is not equal to the current depth, we have to search the minimum in the left subtree as well as the right subtree and the current node. Suppose the required dimension is y and the current dimension is x. So the minimum element can be either in the left subtree or the right subtree or in the current dimension. To find the minimum of all these cases, we recursively called the left subtree and the right subtree and we also compare it with the current node. I hope you understood the code. Thanks for watching. Please leave us your comments.